Hey, hey, everybody. Today, we're going to be talking about why so serious, breaking the tension in your pageant interview. So how many of you guys have had a stressful pageant interview because you feel like they're just hitting you with the hard questions? Today, I'm going to teach you exactly how you can break that tension. Let's get into it. Welcome to the Powerhouse Podcast, hosted by sisters, former Miss Nebraska's and a Miss Nebraska USA, and expert coaches Ali Swanson Mancuso and Megan Swanson Rhodes. Every Tuesday, we bring you a life changing, challenging, and activating episode to help high achieving women win their pageants, massively transform their mindsets, and dominate all aspects of life, including elements both inside and what most consider traditionally as areas outside of pageantry. Allie and Megan coach high-achieving women in all 50 states and beyond and live to see women conquer their dreams. If you're not already part of our Powerhouse Club, join the fastest-growing group of winning pageant queens on the planet, linked in the show notes every single week. Now, let's get on to this week's episode. Hey, everyone. So one of my favorite examples of how to break the tension in an interview is first and foremost, actually the pre-work that we do before the interview. Let me explain. So this all comes down to our bio sheet. Some people call it a fact sheet, your resume. And if you are somebody who is a political science major or was a political science major, is active in politics, is active in uh, social justice, or maybe you're a social worker, things of that nature, or the way that you present yourself on your paperwork directly affects the kinds of questions that you are asked in your interview, okay? Also, the way that you walk into your interview, as well as the way that you dress in your overall kind of stature and presence, okay? This is why with our power presence and warmth triangle, it is so incredibly important to balance your masculine and feminine energies. And even starting with your paperwork, it is something that no other coach is going to tell you. Nobody else thinks of this. Because most people begin just with, okay, well, let's just practice some questions. And while that's great, if you're walking in with a super aggressive paperwork that is overly masculine or your outfit is super, you know, your whole entire being walks in like, I got to prove myself. Yeah, we're going to take this, you know, we're going to storm the court. We're going to take this down. This is mine to lose. That energy is very aggressive. And if you have a dominant judge that is that is going to feel that tension of who's the alpha here, then that can be catastrophic. And what that alpha judge will do is try and bully you to become the alpha in that scenario. And they didn't even get to see whatsoever that you have this whole other beautiful soft side of you that is warm and that is patient and that is funny and all these different things. And I see it over and over and over and over and over why some people will walk out of an interview and say, oh my gosh, they bullied me, or they just asked me like intellectual questions the entire time. They hit me super hard with political questions. You guys, is this helping somebody? This right here could literally be the reason why you're not winning your pageant, okay? So how do we balance our energy and then how do we be you know, more funny or bring more color to our interview, okay? Well, it starts with the pre-work. This is why um, when people go through our academy, they say, oh my gosh, Coach Megan, I feel like I got a master's in personal development. Your mindset training is insane. I'm like, yeah, because it's about becoming the person that has healed their trauma, healed their stuff going on in their head and their heart, uh, figured out, okay, what are the patterns, kind of my autopilot that is not serving me? And what are the parts of me that I feel like I want to show to the world that right now I don't feel comfortable showing to the world? This also affects people in sales, this affects business owners, this affects anything that you do professionally. Maybe you're giving a speech at work, maybe you're giving a presentation at school, whatever that is for you, this drastically affects people every single day, especially women, because there's a really unique balance of balancing your masculine and and your feminine energy. Don't get me wrong. I know how to walk in a room and own it with masculine energy. When I'm the speaker, at a conference of 500 or 1,000 people, you better believe it, I'm walking in in a freaking awesome hot pink pantsuit with six inch heels, and I know that I'm 6'6 six, six and I look hot, okay? You better believe that I'm walking in like that. I'm getting my hair done. I'm getting my makeup done. I'm going to do what it takes to feel my absolute best, and I'm walking in with a certain level of power, right, which is connected to that masculine energy. But also, what I do very quickly is I'm I'm very aware of my tone. I'm very aware of the way that I walk, which is not, which is very feminine. It's sexy. It's 
powerful, but it's also approachable in terms of, um, you know, just, just my overall image and my overall vibe. And you want to know what else I've done the deep work and you can do the deep work to figure out, okay, what's the difference between feeling like I need to put on this character in order to feel like I belong in order to feel like I have a place here in order to feel like I deserve X, Y, Z, or I feel like you're going to take me seriously or genuinely coming from a place where I'm like, why would you not take me seriously? I trust the knowledge in my head and my heart. I've got great stories to tell. I'm here to serve people. I would do a great job. You would be lucky to work with me and not like, oh, you would be laying anywhere, but like genuinely like, no, like because I'm here to serve, let's say that I'm making a, a transaction in uh, you know one of my sales, right? Hey, no, yeah, you, you would be lucky to work with us because if we have a spot for you, we take care of people. And I know that we take care of people with integrity. And if I don't have the answer, I'm going to find the answer for you. Why would I not feel confident about that if I know that I've done the work? Okay, well, let's back up. Have you done the work? You know, my framework for everything that we do at Powerhouse and also at salesqueen.com and Impact Academy is mindset, skill set, repetition. You can master anything with the right mindset, an expert level skill set, and then repetition. That's it. That's literally all it takes. That's my framework for life. Okay. And if you reverse engineer your goals in that way, then you'll find that you're more confident in every room. If you knew that you couldn't fail, how would you act? Right? If you knew that you're going to crush something because your skill set was there to where it felt like breathing, how would you show up? I think you'd show up a little differently. Right. And ha have any of you guys listening or watching, have any of you guys ever, ever met somebody that maybe is out of balance in terms of they walk into the room and you can tell like they're actually really insecure, but they're pretending to have it all together. And maybe they have to like tear people down a little bit. It's just this over masculine energy. And I'm like, honey, it's like, you're safe. It's okay. You can like, it's okay. You're, you're accepted. You're loved. I promise. Like you don't have to prove yourself to me. Like you are powerful because you exist and because God chose to create you out of billions and billions of possibilities in this world. And I'm like, just, it's okay. Like, do you need a hug? It's okay. Like you're accepted. You're powerful. You don't have to prove to me that you're powerful. You're good. And then how many of you guys have met somebody that's the opposite? That's like the over helper, the over sharer, the person who apologizes, the per person who like has to overly act humble all the time. And you just like, you just want to tell them like, Hey, I, I love you. You're accepted. I'm not going anywhere. You're fine. Hey, did you know that like, you have a voice and that you don't have to double back and like over explain why you're you have an opinion about something like your opinion is worthy your opinion is valid like your actions are valid your choices are valid you don't have to explain yourself to me girl like I, you don't need to apologize you're good you're really good and imagine if those two people could heal the imbalance on those sides and they could meet themselves huh that's a word right there they could meet themselves probably for the first time, the real themselves, not the mask they've been playing, not the character they've been playing, not the, you know, fake suit that they've been wearing that doesn't fit them, but they could actually meet themselves in the middle and figure out who God's created them to be, figure out exactly what they're called to say and do and their purpose and, the, you know, their calling, their platform, all these things that they were actually called to walk in. And then that freedom, that sense of balance allows them to control the interview in a way because they're just a powerful person. When they walk in, they're likable because they're likable everywhere else. They're powerful because they're powerful everywhere else. They're certain. They're confident. They're great communicators because they're that way everywhere else. Do you see how this all comes down to mindset? Then we put the skill set on top of that. Then I teach you the tricks to answer every onstage question, every sales objection, every blah, 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 blah that could come your way. I'll teach you all that. But it starts with, do you feel powerful as a person? Just waking up. Do you believe that you have inherent value? Do you believe that you are worthy of making millions of dollars? Do you believe that you are worthy of winning that pageant? Do you win? Do you believe that you are worthy of having that phenomenal marriage that blows your mind and a husband that treats you with kindness and love and empathy and protects you and provides for you? Do you believe that? And if you don't believe that everywhere else in your life, what the heck do you think that you're doing? Thinking that you're going to walk in and be powerful when it counts when it's a competition, when you're on a sales call, when you're stressed, when you didn't get enough sleep. If you can't do it when it's easy, if you're not putting this into practice when it's easy, how dare you think that you're gonna perform well when it counts the most?
So how do we have a more balanced pageant interview? How do we have a more balanced life? How do we have a more balanced anything that we need to grow in terms of our power, presence, and warmth? It doesn't start in that room. It doesn't start when it counts. It starts in your daily walk. It starts in your morning routine. It starts with keeping your promises to yourself. It starts with choosing to not go on a date with that guy because you know he's a loser and you know that you deserve better or breaking up with that person or that friend that is a toxin in your life that is bringing you down and telling you that your dreams are stupid. It's distancing yourself from people who said say that you can never have a six-figure business, that you'll never be financially stable, that you'll never get out of debt, that you'll never lose the weight, that you'll never get over your trauma, that you'll never learn to have a voice, that you'll never be safe again. All those lies that people tell you every single day of your life, I'm here to tell you, they're lies. But you have to be in the right community with the right mentor in the right environment to show you what's possible or you're going to stay in the exact same way as the exact same person doing the exact same thing. It takes big leaps of faith to make change, but it takes small, tiny, consistent actions over time. Tiny actions that go against what your flesh is saying when it says, oh, just snooze. It's okay. You don't have to go to the gym. Oh, it's okay. You don't have to practice. You don't have to, you know, listen back to your sales call. You don't have to send your DMs today to try and get sponsorships, to try and build your lead list. You don't have to do any of that. It's fine. We'll do it tomorrow. No. Guess what? The millionaires that I hang out with, my friends, people like my friends who sold a $3 million company at 23 years old that were both immigrants from different countries, third world countries, and sold a $3 million business at 23, they didn't make those excuses. They got up every day and they worked their butt off and they got uncomfortable and they said, you know what, I'm not going to accept that this is just my hard wiring and that this is the way that I am and that nothing can change. They were like, what life do I want to create? What results do I want to create? What do I want to do? And they reverse engineered from backwards and they got their butt out of bed and they said, you know what, today I'm going to choose to be something. And that starts with deciding to do something. And that starts with what am I putting in my brain in the first five minutes of my day? Am I letting the world speak to me or am I letting the word speak to me? Am I inputting positrons or am, am I emitting negatrons to the entire world? What am I doing? And what's so awesome about when we decide to do that, you guys, is you take back control of your life and you realize that you are in the driver's seat. You have choices. You can change your thoughts. You can change your emotions. You can change your actions. You can change your results. And ultimately, if we're also guided by the Lord on top of that, who's really in control of our life, and we can partner with him for the plans and the thoughts and the purposes that he has for us, it's a no-brainer because then we get an anointing of grace and peace. We get to have inner peace, even through difficult things, even through storms, even in times when we feel like, oh my gosh, I'm never going to change. Things are never going to get better. Man, I've been this way for so long. There's no way I could be even more confident. There's no way I could lose the weight. There's no way I could make six figures when I, I only know what it feels like to make $2,000 a month. There's no way, no way I could ever make $20,000 a month. Well, can I tell you that I've been in that position too? And when I got around the right mentors and when I completely submitted everything in my life to the Lord, everything, radical obedience, I was like, God, there's nothing that you can't touch. There's nothing that you can't speak to. There's, there's nothing that you can't tell me to do. You say jump, I say how high, because I trust and I know that he's got my back. Every, sing every time he tells me to jump, it's because something was going to cut me off at the ankles rolling towards me that I couldn't see. And he told me to jump at the right time. And it was this much over that barricade where I would have tripped and fallen on my face. And I apply that to every single goal, every single metric, every single thing, every single desire that God puts on my heart, whether it's it was winning, winning Miss Nebraska USA or building my first six figure company or building my first seven figure company or like right now starting like three new companies and doing all these different things. Right. Sometimes it's easy to get overwhelmed. But then I remember that it's not just doing it. It's not just me doing it. It's the God inside of me doing it. And when I feel like a one, he becomes a ninety nine. But really, he's the God of the overflow. So he becomes a one hundred. And I know that when I am just the shepherd who needs to hear, or sh sheep who needs to hear my shepherd's voice, he comes to me when I cry. He sees every single tear that falls. He catches me when I'm down. He encourages me when I'm broken. And he lifts up my head when I feel like I don't have enough strength to lift it up on my own, right? And that is the power of mentorship. It's the power of connection. And I just want to encourage you today that you don't have to take life so seriously. You don't have to be such a serious person 24-7. God wants to lift you up. When you're broken, God wants to be there for you. 
in every single area of your life, every area, not some areas, every area. And he wants to be that person who helps you achieve those dreams because he placed them there in the first place. So why would he not want to help you? Are you going to receive help? Are you going to let him come to your come to your side? Or are you somebody who just says, no, this is just the way that I am. I'm stuck. You're not a stuck. You're not stuck because you're not a tree. You're not stuck. You're not a tree. It's okay. Sometimes you bend. Sometimes you, you feel like you break, but you're not stuck because you're not a tree. So I want to encourage you for whatever goal that you feel like is, is right in front of you and then whatever obstacle you feel like is keeping you there, who do you need to be connected to to reach that goal? Do you need to come to our mastermind, May 13th and 14th? We'd love to have you, mastermind.powerhousepageantry.com. Do you need to grab our powerhouse pageant planner and just organize your life? I think you can DM us planner on Instagram for a special deal that Coach Allie's doing right now. Um, if you want that, I think we're giving away a free planner for anybody who comes to mastermind right now. Who do you need to get around to get to your next level? Who's got your answer? Who's got your answer? What community do you need to be a part of? I believe that our mastermind community is the best in existence, the best. Your life will be transformed. And if it's not for some reason, tell me, but we haven't had anybody say anything in multiple years, you know? So I would just encourage you to do whatever you can to get to our mastermind, May 13th and 14th here in Omaha, Nebraska. It's gonna be absolutely beautiful, gorgeous weather. It'll be super, super fun. It's boot camp themed. We're gonna give out awards and prizes. You'll get to go through an entire mock pageant. You'll get to work on every area of competition, mock interviews. You'll get to hear from special guest speakers as well as my entire team. We are here to serve you in a really big way. We're here to serve you and to help you get to your next level, to, to surround you with love and encouragement and to challenge you. And if you have been on the fence, oh, I live too far away, or oh, it costs, it costs money, or man, it just takes time out of my schedule, okay. Well, guess what? Is what you're doing working? Because if it's not, and there's even a little part of you that's pricking your ear saying, man, could that actually be the thing that I've been praying for? Could that actually be the thing that I'm looking for? The chances are it probably is. Probably is. And what do you have to lose? What you're doing is not working. Or else you would have won the title already. Right? Right? Can I just be real with you? So do not delay. At the time that this comes out, I think we only have a few weeks left till that goes live or till, till Mastermind. So make sure that you go to mastermind.powerhousepageantry.com and check out or just DM Mastermind to Powerhouse Pageantry or email info at powerhousepageantry.com and my team would love to chat with you, set up a strategy call, whatever. If you want to you want to get in contact with us, go to our website. You can find a way, right? And we'll personally walk you through the process, make sure that you have all the information to be able to come and I just can't wait to give you a big hug and help coach you over a transformative weekend where you meet friends and just gather with other like-minded people who are on a journey of changing the world. So thank you so much for spending time with me today. It's been a pleasure and I'll see you guys next week. Well, thanks so much for listening to this episode. This is Coach Megan. And uh, I just wanted to say it is 2023 in terms of the next pageant season. And we have so many new things going on at Powerhouse. We have a new brand. We have new logos. We have a new website. We have new resources for you. So make sure that you click the link below. If you are not already part of the Powerhouse Club, figure out how you can save $300 per month and $700 overall by joining the best world-class pageant training in the world that you cannot get anywhere else. Intrigued? Click the link below and we can't wait to see you on that. Thanks for listening to this episode and we will see you next week.